Hey guys, so I decided to make a new series called Top 2 Mods of the Week, and pretty much I already had these two mod recordings ready to go, and I thought they were both kind of short, so I'd put them together and put them for the first uh, episode of this series, so that's why I sort of talk like at the end of each mod review, is like the end of a video, but uh, just enjoy the video. Bye. Hey, what's up guys, it's Snow here, and today I'm bringing you guys a Minecraft 1.2.5 mod review, and pretty much this mod is the Dragon Mount mod, so you can either go to the end and uh, kill the ender dragon and bring back the uh, end um, the dragon egg but uh, I just spawned in with two mana items and I'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys would do anyway so what you want to do you can I'll show you two things you can right click it without having a saddle out but it is very hard to control oops not enough space let's go over here boom the ender dragon is on and you can just right click them and now you can fly around using the space bar let me hold into F5 but um, he's very hard to control unless you have a saddle, like it says, use a saddle. He doesn't really listen too well without the saddle, so it's almost useless to do this. So I'm just going to land him and hop off him. And uh, let's do another one. Okay, I'm going to fly away from him. Alright, let's place another one and right click it with the saddle. Boom, you fly up and now the dragon has caught you. Now you can control them really, really easy. Space bars to go up, shift is to go down, and uh, there's one thing you can do with this mod is feed him the glistering melon by holding it out and right clicking. You'll get that special effect, and now you can go through ground just like the normal Ender Dragon would. Um, your dragon does take some delf, your um, some health damage, but that's not really my priorities because you can freaking destroy everything. Sadly, this is not for multiplayer yet. I would love to see it become multiplayer. Because I think this is like the ultimate griefing tool. Really, it is really epic. And uh, if you enjoyed this mod review, please give it a like rating as it does help my channel grow. This is all this mod is. The link for this mod will be in the description below if you want to download and install it. All you have to do is install Mod Loader and then install this mod. I'm not going to show people how to install at the end of the video anymore because I think that it was taking up too much of the video's time uh, and taking it away from the mod review. So, uh, yeah, guys, this has been the Dragon's Mount mod. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Snow here today. I'm bringing you guys another Minecraft 1.2.5 mod review. And this mod I am reviewing is the Mole Pistons mod. The link for this mod will be in the description below if you're interested in downloading it. So I have a bunch of pistons set up here, and pretty much I'll just show you a comparison. This one is the normal one, the double piston, the triple piston, the quadruple piston. This one is the gravitational piston. I'll save that one for later. So they each come with their own sticky piston version and normal piston version, just like any other piston. But um, these ones, I something I'm not too happy about is you cannot craft them, which I think that should definitely be added to the game. For these, you definitely have to spawn them in. I could not find a recipe how to craft them and uh, so that that leads me to believe that you do have to uh, spawn them in which is disappointing and I'm just to say uh, that um, I really like it if you could definitely craft them because then you could use in survival without having to spawn them in but that's besides the point so you can make some really cool things I would imagine with this if you guys are like map makers or whatnot because like the, the, <laughs> like it's so much easier to like push blocks farther or do anything with these types of pistons because they go farther you can have more customization with them like you want it to go that far you can go that far you can make like custom staircases and you can do a bunch of stuff and I'm pretty much just showing you off this mod because there's not too much with this mod but this is the uh, gravitational piston and pretty much you launch it up it'll launch any gravi gravitational block up and then fall back down and you can also do this with yourself so if you want to use this as like an elevator we go to the second floor and land and uh, if you were in survival you would have falling damage but I do not because I'm not in survival but that's pretty much all this mod is if you enjoy the video please rate comment and subscribe link for this mod will be in the description below and I did make this a uh, little mod demonstration thing myself so um yeah uh, that is the more pistons mod thanks for watching goodbye